Welcome to Council Connection. Financing for a major new road project in Durango has been locked down. More on that coming up in a moment. Hello, I'm Sweetie Marbury, Mayor and Durango City Councilor. This City Span 10 program is designed to give you a snapshot of happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time we look at the August 5th meeting. There were 15 items on the consent agenda which is intended to allow the City Council by a single motion to approve matters that are routine or non-controversial. There is usually no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or a citizen requests an item be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. One approved item of importance dealt with funding for a new master plan for the Durango La Plata County Airport. The Federal Aviation Administration has awarded the airport up to $424,000 to help fund a nearly $1 million study into updating the rapidly growing airfield. The Colorado Department of Transportation has also pledged $400,000 with the balance of the cost coming from local funds. I pulled a funding request from the consent agenda for the proposed steam park and arts facilities envisioned at the Powerhouse Science Center. Council approved $37,500 to help fund a feasibility study for the steam park. The study will clarify options for the advocates. Terry Bacon represents the group and thank the council. What we're advocating is that there be a development along the river of a cultural park that would uh, provide for a, a new theater for the Durango Arts Center and for Music in the Mountains, San Juan Symphony, the Durango Independent Film Festival, and the uh, Powerhouse Science Center. And we believe that this uh, development would uh, enhance tourism we believe it would improve the lifestyles of city residents and county residents and that it would be an economic boost to the community in enabling us to begin development along the river. In public participation, members of the Durango High School Aerospace Team told Council about their recent successes at a worldwide competition at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. For the sixth time, the Durango High School team has won the International Space Settlement Design Competition. We worked with four different, five different teams from India, Wales, Australia, and an Iowa and Texas team. In Council Reports and Actions, Councilor Dick White invited Steve Redding to talk about his nine years on the Durango Library Board, six of those as chair. He spoke about the transition to a new library and the great support the community shows for the facility. Councilor Christina Renderly noted there has been a lot of discussion about the city's latest piece of public art, recently installed at the intersection of highways 160 and 550, which sparked lively discussion. One of the things that I find interesting is that we are so lucky to live in a town that we have a, a robust art collection. Many of the pieces here have been donated. Um, we have uh, over 1.2 million in artwork throughout the community and, and there's a lot of dialogue about this one particular piece and it is spurring a lot of conversation. Um, which I think is a great thing. I also wanted to remind everyone who's commenting on this that it was the public that voted on this piece. And in April, um, the Public Art Commission had a selection of finalists and um, everybody had an opportunity to come on down to the library and vote on which piece they wanted for this intersection. Everybody doesn't always have to agree on what they think is a great piece of art, but I think it's amazing that we have this opportunity in our community and, um, and that we can have dialogue. And um, you know, I think it's one of the comments was, um, guess us homies have no say, <laughs> but you homies weren't at the vote. And so. <laughs> and as a designer myself, I have to say, I've, I've, you know, wait till it's done. Mm -hmm. Just have faith. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, there's landscape, there's a lot of other features as well as the whole intersection that happens there. So, you know, I think in, in the end, it, 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 we'll, we'll probably see that it's a fitting piece. City Manager Ron LeBlanc also reported more good news with sales tax proceeds through June running 5.6% above last year. 
He also reported lodger tax income is nearly 15% ahead of last year. Two legislative hearings were on the agenda. The first dealt with several amendments to the recently approved Land Use Development Code. This was basically a cleanup of language dealing with numerous items in the code, including restaurant categories and parking requirements, marijuana testing facilities, accessory dwelling units, vacation homes, and restaurant parking. A second and perhaps more important hearing dealt with a financing package for the Wilson Gulch Road project. The city is partnering with the county and state to build a new $8 million roadway. It would extend from near the Three Springs Durango Police Station to the 550-160 roundabout to the west to provide better access to Three Springs, the hospital and land that could be commercially developed. What are known as certificates of participation, totaling $2.7 million, are proposed to be used to pay the city's share of the project. The certificates will be used to pay off to pay issuance costs and will fund the city's portion of the construction cost of about an eight million dollar project. Previously the council took action to accept a grant from the Colorado Department of Transportation and I believe that was 4.2 million. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the county who are partners with the road. They've committed to about 1.3 million and this is our final piece, which is 2.7 million. So to, to secure this note, we have to pledge some collateral and we're pledging some property that we own in the Bodo Park area, which is the city service center. Uh, and then if the council approves this, uh, we'll be able to go out on the, on, and place this um, financing with a private company who will buy those notes and then we get the money and we can build the road. Council approved the financing package. Construction of the road should be completed in a year and could open up the area to even more robust residential and retail growth. Councilors also approved an ordinance to transfer city land in Three Springs to the Durango Fire Protection District for a future fire station. During the meeting, councilors also mentioned several events you might find interesting. Among these, Councilor Dick White noted the musical Pippin is still playing Fridays and Saturdays at the Durango Art Center through August the 16th. Details can be found at durangoarts.org. Councilor White also reminded the public that he holds office hours every Thursday from 1130 to 1230 at the City Hall North Conference Room. You're welcome to stop by and share your concerns and ideas with him. I noted that bears are starting to beef up for their winter and that means they'll be hunting for all kinds of food sources. You can avoid scenes like this with a bear-proof container. Bear trash conflicts should be reported to the City Code Enforcement at 375-4930. Bear-proof trash containers, and for that fact, single-stream recycling cans, can be obtained by calling 375-5004. Also, Durango is opening a virtual city hall. Just go to our website, durangogov.org, and click on the link to join in discussions on important issues facing our community. And that's Council Connection for the August 5th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Sweetie Marbury. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can always contact your councilors via email at citycouncil.org at durangogov.org.